Well, I was gone for a week and a half. I was do I was living my life and apparently nothing really changed with the Pirates other than winning a series that they should have won. But uh even then, they still look like the worst team. What's going on everybody? I'm Mac and I am back from vacation and back where I belong here on YouTube. What is going on? If you haven't already, do me a favor, like, comment, subscribe, follow on Instagram. Link is down in the box below. Bucks take two out of three against the Colorado Rockies. Before that, they took two out of three against the Dodgers. And before that, they took a series against Minnesota, not before disgracefully dropping a series to the St. Louis Cardinals. Am I impressed with what the Bucs did during my vacation? Absolutely not. Why? Because they dropped a series to a team that they should have beaten. I mean, for real. They had so many chances to put that series away against the Cardinals, and they couldn't get it done. Now, I'll say this. If the Bucs would have won that series against St. Louis... I would have absolved them for pretty much the whole season because at least it shows that they're still better than St. Louis. But no, they drop the knee to them like they always do, and they drop the series. So uh, good job there. Look like Looks like uh, last year was just an off year for them, and it looks like that they're back to being better than us like they've been for largely of the last 30 years. So I guess some things just never change. I mean, do you guys not have any pride that you're still not better than St. Louis and last week, or uh, last season rather, was the first winning season that you've had against the Cardinals in um, 24 years? This is why... I, I say it all the time that Derek Shelton is just not fit to be a manager. He can't beat these bad teams. He can't beat teams that he needs to beat. And he can't manage his way out of a paper bag. Enter the Rocky series. Even though the Bucks took two out of three, I'm still not impressed. I mean, yesterday you drop it 16 to four. I know the Pirates won today 8 to 2. Oh, good job guys. You beat the Rockies. You took 2 out of 3 against Colorado. You took 4 out of 6 against them for the season. Okay, good for you. You better be able to beat them. But seriously, what was that one loss that they had this series? Oh yeah, they lost to them by 12 runs. And you guys want to sit back and say that this team is a serious contender. The dumbasses on MLB Network want to sit back and say, oh, the Pirates are the, the number one team in the NL Central that I wouldn't want to face come in the come playoff time. Oh, are you so serious? Are you sure about that? You wouldn't want to play the Pirates in the playoffs? I'm telling you, they're saying that strictly because of Paul Skeens and Jared Jones. And by the way, way to not have any run support for Paul Skeens yet or for the first time. And yes, I understand that it was the first time that they did it for Paul Skeens, but it couldn't have come at a worse time. But the idiots on MLB Network want to sit back and say, oh, I wouldn't want to play the Pirates come playoff time. They're saying that, like I said, just because of Paul Skeens and Jared Jones. Seriously, take those two off this team. And this is a team of nobodies. It really is. Oh, but Mac, they took two out of three against the Rockies and the Twins and the Dodgers. The Twins are very inconsistent. That series showed it. The Dodgers benefit from a weak NL West. There isn't a good team in the, in the National League outside of LA, outside of Atlanta, outside of Philadelphia, outside of Milwaukee by default, there's only four really good teams in the NL in the National League. Okay? 
I'm not sold on the Dodgers. They benefit from a weak division. Okay? And even then, the Dodgers rocked us in extra innings to avoid getting swept pretty much. Same thing with the Twins. And then you drop a series to St. Louis, a team that you should easily have beaten. This team, man, th this team is just so aggravating. I don't know why I sit down here and waste my breath on them knowing that this rebuild is a complete and utter failure and it's led by a manager who couldn't manage his way out of a paper bag and he couldn't manage a freaking convenience store. It's a waste of time. It's a waste of energy. But yet here I am every single day, every sing almost every single series sitting down here recapping them. It's a sad addiction that I have with them. So no, I'm not impressed with this series win against Saint or this uh, series win against Colorado. I'm not impressed with that series win against the Dodgers. I'm not impressed with that series win against the Twins. Because let me tell you, all this means in the grand scheme of things is that Derek Shelton is going to stay here because Ben Charrington truly believes that he's the manager going forward. He's going to look back at those series that the Pirates won against L.A., against Minnesota. If you want to take it back further, Atlanta. If you want to take it back even further, Baltimore. He's going to look back at those series, and he's going to be like, Derek Shelton's the guy. He can beat these teams. Yet he's completely ignoring the fact that he got clapped by the San Francisco Giants squeaked out a series win against the Nationals, and oh, by the way, got swept by teams like the Mets, can't beat the Diamondbacks for as long as he's been here, even when the Diamondbacks were a 110-plus loss team a few years ago, couldn't beat them, can't beat the Los Angeles Angels, and you got swept by the Oakland A's. I'm seriously convinced the the freaking what 17 and 53 whatever their record is Chicago White Sox could beat this team. Very unimpressed. Very unimpressed. It's going to take a lot more than a fluke series win against the Dodgers, a fluke series win against Atlanta, a fluke series win against Minnesota. By the way, the Braves were without Ronald Acuña Jr. I forgot to even say that. And the Braves were injured the hell and back in that series. So we didn't even play Atlanta at their best. Baltimore handed us that series, and the Phillies, it was still early in the season. So basically, as far as I'm concerned, the Dodgers series and the Twins series were flukes. And the Rockies, you better be able to beat that team. They're the second worst team in the National League. But anyway, let me know what gents think down in the comments below. Mac, checking on out for the day. Have a good one, everybody.